guys. I was watching a wide awake video and something just slapped me fair in the face. Alright. G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well me old mate, Aussie legend, no fanfare. Well he has kept his head down for a long time. But I guess he saw something and rather than properly doing his own research, he jumped to a conclusion and saw something that he mistook as flat and jumped back up on his soapbox to make a fool of himself once more. Thanks no fanfare, been missing you mate. Hey Wolfie, what do you think? Is no fanfare onto something or did he fail hard at seeing the obvious yet again? Yes Wally, once again we have flat earthers totally forgetting to do their own research. They should learn to trust their senses better, shouldn't they? And you can see from their own video when properly synced, it actually does a very good job of showing earth curvature because the rocket wasn't visible for the first 20 or 30 seconds of its flight. Thanks Wally. Wolfie. Thanks mate. I will give you the shortened version of NFS fail and then I will show you why he's a goose. See if you can spot it. So first of all, no fanfare, he mucks about trying to get the earth curve drop. So I'll do a Walter Bislin just to be sure. And I did read in the comments that Wide Awake mentions he's more likely 110 miles away and 90 feet up. So no fanfare goes on for a bit. Then he tries to state the hidden as multiples of Falcon heavy height. Not sure why. So from uh, Wide Awake's viewing point, there would be a little over 25 and a half rocket heights before you would even see the nose of that rocket. Let's skip all that silliness and get to the meat. Actually, I'll start by playing my synced up video because anyone who knows me knows that, of course, that's exactly what I would have done. So I grabbed the SpaceX official launch to landing footage. I also got a good friend of mine, Astronomy Live, and some dude called Reds. They had a uncut launch to landing video too, so I stole a bit of that. At the top right, I put Wide Awake's full video too, and I will play his audio as the one we're going to hear. Now I'll play some more of No Fanfare in the bottom right quarter while the boosters are coasting back to the landing zone. Enjoy it and pay particular attention to the first 30 seconds. No fanfare, he did put in a lot of time and effort into this. Pity he did the wrong thing by synchronizing on the audio. Boosters and followed by their side booster boost back burns, and then we'll 
will be center core main engine cutoff for Pico Nico. And those events coming up here just under a minute away. That will be Nico. That's for the booster. The side booster's engines will shut down. The center core will push those side boosters away from the vehicle. Then those two side boosters can begin to make their way back down to Earth with their boost backwards. And on your right hand screen, you can see the views from each of those side boosters. A very respectful job with the camera there, wide awake. Well done, sir. Really incredible views here. Again, we will have Vico. Side booster, boost back burn, followed by main engine cutoff will be set up for here in just a few seconds. So we'll just watch these boosters cruise back to base while no fanfare figures out the drop and converts it to rocket spans. No fanfare, I think we'll just stick with meters. They seem to work perfectly well and everyone understands them. Now we'll take a look at uh, Wide Awake's footage of the uh, SpaceX Falcon Heavy launch. Right, I've got, um, I've got Wide Awake's video clip of the launch and the original launch sync side by side. I've synced the audio. But uh, the audio on the original, when he says nine, the clock goes to eight. So there's a bit of a discrepancy there for starters. And uh, I know this is only small, I'll render this video later. How about those cold gas thrusters? You can even see how nicely they're matching. Fill up the full screen and just look at that. But um, I'll just play this uh, with them sync, with both the audios going, then I'll try and mute one and then unmute the other one. Hey, where did that KFC come from? I'm hungry. Sort of get an idea of what's going on. Um, right, oh, let's play that. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, engine full power, and lift off. The USSF 67 goes off the heavy, goes to the space force. Okay, so that's the first mute water weights audio. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, engine full power, and lift off of USSF 67, go Falcon Heavy, go Space Force. Go what heavy? <laughs> SpaceX clip muted and wide awake uh, audio again. So you can see that they're, they're sync. Boosters have begun. Well, that one, that now, and now we're going back to see this thing together. T minus 10, 9, 8, 
seven. And the entry burns for both side boosters have now concluded. Six, now five. Next up will be the final burn for each of these side boosters. That is the landing burn. It is just a single engine burn, the center E9 engine. Each one of these M1D engines have about 190,000 pounds of thrust. So that is enough to slow the vehicle down just in time for landing. And you can see the coast of Florida in the back. Two, one, engine full power. And lift off. You are the 67. Go about 20 seconds yeah, they'll render them, them, uh, and we are to scheduled to land on landing zone one and landing zone two. Yeah. Screen, so you can and there it. are those landing burns. T minus it 10, on the side 9, so it's 8, as it 8 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, engine full power, and lift off. You are going to One screenshot of the eight rocket heights. And for Wide Awake for his from his location, uh, there has to be twenty-five rocket heights in the air before Wide Awake would even see it. Uh, twenty-five plus rocket heights. So here's your twenty-five rocket heights. Just doesn't seem to match with reality. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Oh, I think it does match reality quite well. So here's the summary. Wide Awake's video shows the very fast moving rocket as it's coming into view, so clearly it has already been in flight for more than just a few seconds. That's a bit of an oops there. Two, no fanfares used audio to sync, which was not real good, as the live stream has transmission delays. He did not seem to be aware of this, poor guy. Three, when synced visually to the SpaceX and Astronomy Lives video, there is clearly 30 seconds of flight time missing right from the start of Wide Awake's video. Four, Walter Bislin's Earth Curve calculator shows that there is a neat 2,000 meters of hidden. And when we look at the SpaceX telemetry, guess where the Falcon Heavy is at around the 30 second mark? Yes, right, right on the 2,000 meter mark. How convenient. 5. And when the landing burn starts, it seems the boosters are less than 2 km from the ground. And that's probably why Wide Awake did not manage to catch the landing burn in his video. Number 6. No fanfare has deleted his video. Oh, sad. But have no fear, I have a link to an unlisted version of it in the description below, as always. And number 7, finally, the logic that he was bringing was, if globe, then curvature, of course, he wanted to say there was no curvature, but clearly there is curvature. So, there is curvature, therefore globe. Thanks very much, no fanfare. Oh, I don't think we'll have any problem at all, my dear Fleur friend. Well, thanks guys. This is a particularly nice old school video, and it's really good to see one where the Fleurs themselves go to a whole pile of effort to show that they know exactly what the globe model is. They try to debunk it and fail miserably. Oh, good times. Enjoy. Oh, and finally one more thing. I should do this submission. Uh, is this a flat earth claim? Uh, yep. And did it fail gloriously? Almost certainly. Thanks, Dan.